The politicians have no right to surrender our national sovereignty. As the great British constitutionist John Locke made clear, these powers simply are not theirs to give away. Parliament's powers are on loan from the people. At the end of its term in office, the government and Parliament must return the powers intact to the people, who then elect a new Parliament, to which the powers are entrusted for the next five years. We can only stop our politicians betraying our trust by holding a referendum which is legally binding on the government. A referendum will achieve two vitally important objectives. First, it will clearly indicate to the government, whatever its political colour, exactly what the British people want. And the government will be legally bound to honour the popular verdict. And secondly, a referendum will heal the deep divisions that run right through the nation, dividing political parties, communities and even families. Britain is fortunate and its whole being is profoundly democratic. If there's a fair vote, the minority will accept the verdict of the majority. That power to heal is one of the greatest virtues of democracy. The sovereignty of this nation belongs to its people and not to a group of career politicians. It is the people and they alone who must decide after a full debate and a public vote whether Britain should remain an independent nation or whether her future will be better served as a new country, the single European superstate, also known as the Federal Europe. <laughs> Chancellor Kohl has said, as you've heard, that within two years you will make European integration irreversible. He stated, and I quote, this is a really big battle, but it is worth the fight. Chancellor Cole reminds us regularly that by irreversible, he means forever. Let me make just one promise, just one vow. We, the rabble army, we in the referendum party, we will strive with all our strength to obtain for the people of these islands the right to decide whether or not Britain should remain a nation. And let us borrow from Chancellor Cole's words and accept his challenge. Yes, indeed this is a really big battle, but it is worth the fight. Thank you very much. My support for Sir James's initiative is natural, for I am in harmony with the sturdy defence of our British Parliament, advanced by my predecessors in the Speaker's chair in the House of Commons. For me, to remain silent now would be an act of treason for such cowardice would betray the noble heritage handed on to me by former speakers in the House of Commons. God bless your efforts as you battle for Britain. I wish you well.